What are you classified as? Are you a jock, pop, geek, bully, weirdo, goth, or nerd? I understand that a jock is an athlete or a nerd is someone that is smart, but what if you label someone a jock because they're tall and dim-witted? Labeling can be another form of stereotyping. At examples, yourdictionary.com, the paragraph called, Why is it bad to stereotype states that stereotyping is any time grouping races or individuals together and make a judgment about them without them knowing. Recently, I've read The Outsides by C.E. Hinton. Yes, by C.E. Hinton. In The Outsiders, there are greases and soaps, just like there are pops and jocks. They, in the book, they find out that greases and soaps aren't so different after all. They are all just people. They lived off these labels of greases and soaps. Because of these labels, these so-called greases became hoodlums that stole, went to jail, fought, and smoked, while soaps became unemotional and felt almost nothing. They thought they were better and jumped greases because of it. In the article, CMS Currents, Social Stereotypes Can Des Devastate School Unity, Michaela Gurner stated that people will start expecting so much more of one person to fit a stereotype that it can transform one's identity without the person even realizing it. it stereotypes can literally change someone's personality entirely. To narrow things down a bit, think about having all these different categories and different people to go into these categories. Now th think of another person coming along and placing all these people into these categories. Based on how they look, how many people know them, what their interests appear to be, and how they act. Such as in The Outsiders, people start living off these labels and it's now what they believe to be true. They think that they have to change who they are to get into a newer and higher category. Yes, you may call each other pops or jocks or any of those ones, but what are about those people who aren't pops or jocks or any of those other labels? Where would you put them? In a normal category? No, you put them, not only them, but everyone in their own unique category. This category could be called something like special, different, or even extraordinary. But the real name and the best name wouldn't be just one name. Every person in that category would have their own unique category. These categories would each be different according to that person and would each be called a different name. And those names would be the full names of everyone that has a category. You may still call each other pops or nerds or jocks, but you will always have your own unique category and that will always be you. Thank you.